let's take a look at working with temperatures above and below zero. The temperature was negative 12 Celsius in Blue Point, negative 6 Celsius in Lanbury, and negative 14 Celsius in Morristown. In which city was the weather the coolest? Okay, well you have to be careful when you're working with negative numbers to think about the number line, right? Because normally, if these were positives, if we had positive 12, 6, and 14, then 6 would be the coolest. But they're negative, so that changes things a little bit, right? Like, let's say we have 0 here. Negative 6 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left of 0. Negative 10 would be here, and then negative 12 would be right around here, and negative 14 would be two more. Okay, and I might not have spaced that perfectly, but you get the idea that the negative 6 is closer to 0, so negative 12 is actually colder than that, and negative 14 is even further to the left of 0. So negative 14 is actually the coolest temperature. So Morristown had the coolest weather. The temperature was negative 4 Celsius in Blue Point, negative 2 Celsius in Lanbury, and 14 Celsius in Morristown. In which city was the weather the warmest? Okay, well notice two of these are negative temperatures, right, below 0, and one of them is a positive, above 0. So the positive temperature, right, 14 degrees Celsius in Morristown would have to be the warmest because it's the only one above zero. At 12 a.m., the temperature is negative 9 degrees Celsius. If the temperature drops 1 degree Celsius per hour, what will the temperature be at 11 p.m.? Okay, so 12 a.m. or midnight, how many hours is that from 11 p.m.? Well, it's almost a full 24 hours, right? If we got back to 12 midnight or 12 a.m., that would be 24 hours. 11 p.m. is one hour before that. So 23 hours have passed, okay? And we know that the temperature is dropping one degree, getting colder by one degree each hour, okay? So that means 23 hours, times a drop, right, or a decrease, times negative one, decreasing by one degree, means that it would have dropped a total of 23 degrees. Okay, well, if it was already negative nine, and then it dropped 23 degrees, we would say negative nine minus 23 degrees. Okay, and then that's what we want to figure out. What is negative nine minus 23. And that's going to be negative 32 degrees, right? Or 32 degrees below zero. At 2 p.m., the temperature is negative 13 degrees Celsius. If the temperature rises, okay, this time it's going up one degree Celsius per hour, what will the temperature be at 4 p.m.? All right, well, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., that's two hours later. So if two hours have passed and it's going up or rising by one degree per hour, well, two times one, it would be rising by two degrees. Okay, so if it started at negative 13 degrees and then it rose or went up by two degrees, we're going to say plus two, and that means it wound up to be negative 11 degrees Celsius. At 4 a.m., the temperature was 15 degrees Fahrenheit. At 9 p.m., 
the temperature was 16 degrees Fahrenheit. How much did the temperature rise? Okay, well, how much did it rise if it started at 15 degrees and it wound up at 16 degrees? Well, to figure out how much it rose or the difference, we can subtract. It wound up at 16 degrees minus the 15 degrees it started at means it rose or went up by one degree Fahrenheit.